Okay, Aquarius, it's time. Hi, everybody, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone's well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Aquarius, I'm knocking out your first half of May reading. I know I said in the week on top and bottom that I was done for the day, but I got about 20 minutes before I got to get ready. So why not? I'm going to knock you guys out today. I'm, just, I'm behind the eight ball here. It's already May. And I'm sick of constantly being behind. This is something I'm trying to transcend about myself. Oh, my back is killing me. So, and being in one position for any point is just, uh, any length of time just kind of kills me right now. Being at work for eight hours tonight is going to kill me, but I got to do it. So, it's par for the course. Occupational hazard. I'm not a sitter. Guys, I should probably start just doing this standing up somehow. Oh, anywho. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of May. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards if you choose to do it at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. It's not going to resonate for every Aquarius. That's fine. It's a general reading. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might play it from the perspective of the cross watcher. There's a cross If there's a cross watcher in the room, welcome. You're welcome here too. Please have a seat. Enjoy. And don't forget to go check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Because sometimes those resonate a little bit better than a sun sign. Okay. Aquarius, I think we're there. <sighs> okay. Why are you here, Aquarius? The Fool card. New and exciting adventures. I like it. You're ready to jump. Nice. Take that new path. All right. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The hermit. Might be a Virgo. Maybe they're going through something. Maybe you're the one introverting about how you feel about them. You're processing. Maybe you feel like they're still processing something. Maybe they're your inner light. What do you think of them? The tower. This is not a bad card. It's not. The tower is not a bad card. Maybe you think that it... You think they brought about a sudden or abrupt change? Or vice versa. Maybe you forced a change in them. Okay. What do you want from them? Queen of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Somebody needs to check an attitude here. I don't know if it's you or them. But there's an attitude check in order. Super weird. Okay. How do they feel about you? Nine of Swords, they are definitely all up in their head about you. Maybe even a little bat poop bonkers. What do they think of you? Two of Swords. Back up. This Nine of Swords. Maybe they feel like you're overthinking something. And they're thinking a decision needs to be made. They think something has you blinded. What do they want from you? The hermit reversed. The, sorry, the hierophant reversed. 
Okay. I'm going to need some clarity on this, but my first instinct is you could still be connected to someone else. Possibly in the process of divorce, maybe, not necessarily. Maybe that's where the tower and the sun and abrupt change came in. Huh. What's the obstacle of the moon? Secrets. Skewed perception. Smoke and mirrors. People not being 100% honest. Okay. Maybe that's why you're ready to start something new. What well, can be done? The star. Healing, positive energy flow. Spiritually in touch. You see, okay, you see how her hand's up? She's like a conduit. You know what I'm saying? She's the connection between... The high and the here. Know what I'm saying? Somebody needs to get more spiritually in touch with what's actually going on. I think someone's attempting with this hermit. Maybe you both need to kind of get on the same level here. Projected outcome, three of pentacles reverse. It's just not coming together. Okay. Mm, you. Clarify with you. No. I'm going to clarify with you. No. This one. I lost my place for a second. I apologize. We're going to clarify with the Gilded today. This is what happens when I'm in extreme pain, guys. My brain doesn't want to work. I'm, I'm fighting this right now. I am fighting this. I am being the Sag that I am, and I am trying to ignore this pain as much as I possibly can just to get through this. I'm sorry, I'm a Sag. I can't is in my vocabulary most of the time. It's very hard for me to just lay down and take it. It's hard for me to lay down at all, period. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Aquarius, please? One more. One more. Ten of Wands reversed. Someone needs to release a burden. Until this burden is released, whatever newness is coming can't come. Okay. Why is the Queen of Swords here? That's Queen of Swords reverse here. Why is the Queen of Swords here for what Aquarius wants from the other person? King of Swords. Honesty. Truth. 
logic over emotion. <coughs> so they want you to check the attitude and have a logical conversation. Okay. This is what you want from them, Aquarius. You want them to check their little attitude at the door and sit down and not be emotional and have a logical conversation. That's all you want. Why is the hair fin to reverse here? Three of Swords. One more. Too many. One more. Hi, Emperor reversed. Okay. Wow. Speaking of checking attitudes at the door. They want whatever else you're involved in. They just want it over with. I, I keep hearing the word divorce. I don't know why. I don't know who this is resonating with. But I keep hearing the word divorce. I keep hearing submit to my demands. Like they're demanding the divorce. They don't care whose heart gets broken, but they are demanding the divorce. Why is the moon here? Ten of swords in the reverse. The challenge is the painful cycle is not coming to an end. Smoke, mirrors, illusions. The pain is not ending. The sun is not going to shine. The, someone is refusing to end a cycle here. Someone is refusing to release a burden. Someone is refusing to let the other person go. Someone wants to go off and start something new, and the other person just can't. Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's no communication. There's no positive, logical communication here. Why is the star card here for what needs to be done? You want to talk. Star card in the reverse. I just heard game over. Wow. This is soul crushing. Someone is trying hard to fix this, and the other person doesn't want it fixed. Mm. 
you are connected and you always will be. But I think whatever connection is here, like in the 3D, the here and the now, this lifetime, game over. And it's so crushing for me to say. That's heartbreaking. <clears throat> I don't like giving bad news. Obviously there was a shakeup. And this has been a process. Somebody's been up all night. Somebody's had to make a hard decision. Somebody has a bad attitude and is not being logical. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? The sun. It's not coming together because it was not supposed to. It's not going to stay together because it was not supposed to. This is a card of connection. You will always be connected. You're probably soulmates. And whatever connect, whatever physical connection you had down here in the here and now is done. Game over. All right, now we find out what you're supposed to do. Wow, I didn't like this. No wonder I got interrupted four times. But the cards say what the cards say. The strength and the eight of wands. This is going to take strength. Things happened very quickly. Probably very unexpected. And sometimes it just be like that. This is going to take strength. This is going to take trust in the universe. This is going to take trust. I have two cards of trust here. You have to trust that in the whirlwind, everything's going to be okay. Knight of Cups in the upright, Knight of Swords in the reverse. I'm hearing it wasn't just words. You will probably still always have emotion for this person, but it's not the way it was. I'm hearing the phrase, you say it best when you say nothing at all, and I don't know why. I don't know why this applies here, but it's going to mean something to someone. Silence speaks louder than words. It'll mean something to someone. Super sketch, I apologize. The lovers reversed and the king of pentacles reversed. Oh boy. Okay. It's time to stop giving anything to this connection. It's not... It's not stable. It's not abundant. It's ground to a halt. Game over. The connection's always going to be there again, but it, it's just time to stop investing in it. The tower has fallen. Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. It's time to be honest with each other. It's time to sit down and have the honest conversation, even if it seems cold, and admit to yourself and admit to each other that this is not equal, this is not fair, it's not working. It's okay to say I got nothing left. I am so sorry. I don't like giving bad news. 
but sometimes honesty is the best I can do for you. I'm just reading what the cards say. I'm reading what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing. And sometimes letting go is the best gift you can give someone and the best gift you can give yourself. Because if it's just not working, it's just not working. It's respect. It's it's love. If you love someone and you truly love someone, you want them to be happy. And if they're not happy, they're not happy. If you don't fill their cup anymore, you don't fill their cup anymore. And it is what it is. Sometimes it's just like that. I'm sorry. Aquarius, you probably just earned a bonus. I will probably hit that this week when I do... Um, this coming week. When I do the Marseille reading, I think we're going to go back over this again and see what energies we can pull. <sighs> again, I love you guys. Um, leave an email or a comment. Let me know if it resonates. I want to go cry now, but I have to go get ready for my new job. I have to go get ready for my bread and butter job. Thanks for stopping by. This was a hard one. I'm sorry. But be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Stay safe. Be blessed. Know that you're loved. We'll talk soon. Catch you later.